Hey everyone, it's Miss Queen Crypto, and I am back again for another episode of Friday Block Talk here on the Emily channel. Like I said last week, I am back at my college town, which is exciting, but a little bit sad. I warned you that my background probably wouldn't be as aesthetically pleasing or attractive. So here we are. This is my new dorm room setup, which pretty exciting. Um, I have a sink this year, so we're talking about upgrades here. Um, the front of it has fallen off, so I'm gonna have to get maintenance on that. But besides that, we're doing great. It's about moving on up. So I'm in the middle of training. If you didn't already know, I'm a resident assistant at the university I attend. So I get to come early and I get to go through training again, which love, love, love. So my, <laughs> I've been in like, like training from like eight to seven every day. So my battery is like a little bit drained right now. So I thought this would be a good week for me to just kind of talk about myself and my bitcoin journey because i've talked about it a lot on live streams but a lot of that was like over a year ago and those videos are kind of hard to find so i know i've been doing this for a while now but it's different i think like i feel like it's different because this is something that like i'm producing i'm putting out there like i'm trying to build a relationship with you so i felt like it would be good to have a nice like formal introduction almost a little like get to know me because if you've been watching my videos for a while you kind of just know me as a talking head that picks a topic every week and just kind of runs with it so i thought it'd be a good idea to talk about myself and why i consider myself to be a bitcoin maximalist even though my username is indeed miss queen crypto it's definitely a misnomer that uh i make fun about in my twitter bio but have not changed it myself yet so yikes but with that let's get into it so like i said i am a university student so i'm actually studying biomedical engineering which is not very related to crypto at all not related to bitcoin i mean engineering technology sure but like very different spheres so this is definitely just like a big hobby of mine it's i i would say a lifestyle but i don't think that i make enough like active choices to do with Bitcoin on a daily basis for me to consider it a lifestyle. However, it is something that is obviously a very big component of my life and it is a way that I identify myself as. I identify as like a Bitcoiner. Like if someone, it is a fun fact, like in the midst of this training, obviously we all hate icebreakers, right? There's, there's not someone here that enjoys icebreakers. Like in the monotony of corporate life, icebreakers are just like horrendous. They're like vomit inducing, so. It's funny for me to be like, yeah, I, I make Bitcoin videos. I make videos about crypto. I'm kind of in the crypto sphere because like, I've talked about this a lot, but we're still in very early adoption. I think anyone in this space would agree. So it's definitely like a little niche topic that I think is kind of fun to bring up every once in a while, but I don't like to overdo it because I don't want that to be, I don't want them to like put me in a box. You know how you tend to put people in boxes when when you see them and like you hear one thing about them and it's like, oh, she's the Bitcoin girl. I like to be a well, well-rounded person. Like I think we all are. So I think it's important to portray yourself as that. Part of the reason I'm doing this video. So I'm a biomedical engineering student. I'm going into my junior year of college actually, which is pretty exciting. So I'm getting into some more intense classes, some more specific classes. Gonna feel like a real engineer, which is really exciting for me. I've enjoyed it so far, like a lot. And I know that college isn't for everyone. And I think as Bitcoiners, we have very differing opinions on like whether things are worth it, whether things are good investments. But for me personally, I think that college has been a worthy experience thus far. And I think it's going to provide me many more opportunities in my future. But I understand that not everyone has the same take and not everyone has the same experiences. I think like I'm very well suited for whatever you would consider our current educational system. Like I don't think that tests being the marker for whether or not you learned something works for everyone, but sadly it does for me. So like I get to benefit from that system, but something I'm aware of. So I'm not sure if I want to pursue higher education when I'm done in my with my bachelor's. I've thought about like going to medical school, but I've also thought about getting my master's in possibly neural engineering or even getting a PhD in engineering just because I I don't really know what I want to do with my life long term. 
this is something that I love doing and something that I want to keep doing for as long as I can. But obviously things change and like schedules change. And there have definitely been weeks for me where like this doesn't seem like top of my priority list, but I feel like it's a very good opportunity for me to sit down and like recenter myself almost because Bitcoin is something that I started like right around when I started college. So I get to like watch these two journeys kind of grow together like at similar time frames. So if you didn't know, my cousin is the person who introduced me to Bitcoin. And so I was visiting him um, like almost two years ago exactly. It's coming up on my two year anniversary with Bitcoin, which is extremely exciting. This is the longest relationship I've ever been in. Um, but so I had visited him multiple, multiple times before. He was a big analyst at that time, order book analysis, all that. And so he'd been doing it for a couple of years at that point. So when I would go visit him, he would have like all the huge monitors around the screen and or around the room and he would be like working. We'd sit in his dark little office for hours before we like actually did anything. I didn't have a problem with it. I just enjoyed getting to spend time with him, but I was never super interested in it. Like it never really like clicked with me. It was just something like, oh, that's what he does. So that was, it never spoke to me until two years ago when I decided to actively listen in what he was talking to me about. And crazy enough, when you approach Bitcoin with an open mind, you can actually see how it does solve problems and how it as a system has like really, really cool elements. And it's a very incredible piece of technology. And so I was actually introduced to crypto finally that same trip. And she showed me a very different side of crypto and of Bitcoin. She showed me like that there's a social media side, like that's a big deal of it because with my cousin, all I had ever seen was like the analysis, like order book, all that. And so this showed me that there was more than just that in the community. And there was actually a very holistic community that had many different elements. And there were a lot of people there, not all of them like my cousin, not all of them like her. And so I was very motivated to take that up myself. I thought that I could find my place in this community and I saw a future for myself in it and I knew I wanted to be investing in Bitcoin. I knew this was something I wanted to learn more about. So I decided why not document my journey? Why not make that something shareable? If other people are inspired by my journey, like that's incredible too. I hope to spread it to people. I hope to be someone that helps with adoption of Bitcoin because for me, it was not a one and done process. Like I had been exposed to it for years before I finally decided to give it an open mind and actually like put the time in myself to learn about it and get more information about it. So I read some books and the more I read about it, the more interested I was, read the white paper and started to learn about altcoins because my cousin is a toxic Bitcoin maximalist, if you don't already know. Um, but so he was telling me like, no, you have to learn Bitcoin first. You have to learn why I like Bitcoin. And then if you want to venture into other cryptos, you're more than welcome to. But once you do this, I don't think that that's going to happen. And sure enough, I, I definitely will admit that I have not spent nearly as much time looking into like Ethereum or other altcoins as I have spent researching and developing my understanding of Bitcoin. However, I think partially that's because I'm biased now because I'm like, oh, I'm a Bitcoin maxi too. But um, I, it's just one of those things like confirmation bias. Once you think something's the best, you don't want that opinion to change really, which I'm aware of. I know that we all suffer from that sometimes and it's important to recognize, but also like I personally don't think it's that deep. I think that I choose to invest my money in Bitcoin because, first of all, I believe in the technology, but I also believe that it is a deflationary asset that is like a relatively safe investment given that it's a volatile asset. And so I do not feel the same way about altcoins, including Ethereum, and that's why I don't choose to invest in them because for me, it doesn't seem like a risk that I'm willing to take. And I don't really want to support that with my money. but. I don't hold that against anyone else. And I think that other people have extremely valid points for wanting to invest in Ethereum and like develop that blockchain as well. So I that's a very, very like long kind of winded roundabout way to talk about my journey. But 
Yeah, coming up on two years. And so dollar cost averaging, very, very big one, very important thing. Like two years ago, Bitcoin was at like 10, 11 K. That's what it was when I entered the space. And here we are all panicking about 20 K. Even my dad the other day was like, well, anyone who's invested in the past like five years has lost money. And I was like, um, actually, I invested two years ago and I've still got double what I initially invested. And he was like, oh, well, I didn't know that. And I was like, yeah, of course you didn't because you don't actually care to know. You just want to spout BS. But I digress. Um, if you want to know any more about me, you can, of course, look at my Twitter. I've got tweets going back years now and if not i can obviously do another video if you want to hear more about like what i do in my free time besides crypto twitter and besides just studying i also fence which is something pretty cool i'm an epaist at my university so that's something i picked up last year actually and i absolutely adore it so if you want to learn about my fencing journey you are more than welcome to i'd love to talk about it more it's something that i don't really talk about at all on this channel but because this is supposed to be more educational I just thought that for me I enjoy content the most when I like the creator when I know about the creator when I feel a connection to the creator and it's the same with like YouTube just I like my favorite YouTube creators even if it's not something educational I just like to feel like I know them as a person a little bit and sometimes that can be hard when all I'm doing is talking to you about something else that's not myself. So I thought this would be a fun little way to like bridge that gap and so you can see that I'm just a person and this is just something that I enjoy doing. So if you enjoyed this video I would love it if you liked it and if you subscribe to the Emily channel. This is definitely not the new norm but I figured that since I'm feeling a little bit out of it and did not really want to do a super well-researched video this week, I didn't. I also didn't want to like half-ass it and give you like a bad video that just didn't really make sense. So this seemed like a good little middle ground for me. Um, I won't do it again if you don't like it, but I that's kind of where I'm at. So thank you so so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.